The story of Paul Revere. Now think about this. Think about this. I'm not, <laughs> not Paul Revere. I'm going to try my hardest to explain this. Think about a time in America's history where people had to believe that they were about to be destroyed. That an opposing force, England, and I'm going to tell you right now, it was the Bank of England coming to attack because we wanted to defy them, right? Thank you, Darcy, so much for the super chat. We wanted to defy them. The Redcoats were on boats and they were coming. The rumors were swirling. And a man named Paul Revere, as, as the Redcoats were here in radio attack, they were starting to march in, got on his horse and started screaming, the British are coming, the British are coming. And they had to, he had to r race through towns and villages. Now think about this. You've heard rumors. You'd heard the scuttlebutt. And at that moment, think about this. Think about standing next to your wife. And a man runs by on a horse screaming. And you look at your wife and your wife looks at you and she goes inside to pack you a lunch. And you go and grab your musket. You grab your gun. And it's now time. The opposing force is coming to kill us. They want us because we won't pay them what they think they're due. The Bank of England is what set up the Federal Reserve. Those bankers worked their way into this system twice, got kicked out, and came in a third time. And within a couple years after what they came in, this country, they convinced you that it was okay to tax you as income tax. But they lied to you and said, don't worry, it's not for you. It's for the rich people. And they're doing it again. They're coming out and saying, don't worry. Those 30,000, 50,000 IRS agents that are being armed right now, they're buying guns. They're being told in their job announcements that they may have to shoot to kill. It's not for you. It's for the rich people. History's repeating itself right now. They're trying to turn the whites against the blacks, the blacks against the Mexicans, the Mexicans against the Asians. They're trying class warfare, too. It's racial warfare. It's class warfare. They're trying to destroy your mind. They're trying to confuse you so much. They're putting stuff in your food that causes brain fog. You want to get rid of that brain fog? I've been eating all protein for the last month. Things are changing in my mind and my body. You won't believe. There's a reason why they don't want you eating red meat. They want you subdued. They want your testosterone low. They want you confused. They want you scared. This is the truth. Mark my words. If any of you want to take a clip from this right now and I'm getting pissed off, put it on YouTube. Put it on YouTube. Use it. Make it big. Spread it everywhere because we don't have much time. And I don't care what you think about the price of a Ford F-150. I don't care that your neighbor sold their house for 10 grand more than they sold it for a year ago. I don't give a crap because the truth's in the pudding. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell just told you the truth. Pain's coming. Losses are going to be made. And literally 80% of the banking sector right now is holding these toxic assets. Get ready because they're ready. They own gold. They own things. They're not leveraged. And if they are leveraged, it's in financial instruments that you own shares in, and they could wipe the floor with you, and they don't care. They will pay themselves bonuses and walk away. This is so serious right now. I can't. I, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that the words that are coming out of my mouth affect people and that the scales fall off of their ears and their eyes. Because this is no joke. It's exciting to make money during a downturn, but it's not exciting if you're by yourself. I, put, I implore you to think differently today. Even the people side hustles that are calling me and saying, I'm trying to sell stuff on my garage sale, people aren't calling. I keep dropping my prices. I know I said, because it's already begun. The people, the gut feelings, they're sp in their spirits, they know it's changing, it's changing fast. And the war is, and think about this, going back to Paul Revere, the man that grabbed his musket, not only did he have to believe that an invading, an invading force was coming to kill and attack his country, they were coming to get his family. World Money, thank you so much, Andrew. That, that's a, another YouTube channel that started from this channel. My goal can only be so, so many places, and so I, I want to help other people with their voice. It's time to stand up. Thank you, Jorge, for the super chat. Guys, you need to know that it was the wife that also had to believe. Right now, the family unit, the nuclear family, it's being destroyed. Being destroyed. 
But here's the thing. I believe in you, and I believe that you are the majority. You are a good-hearted human being. I don't care what your race is. I don't care what your sex is. I could care less about your religion. I care about your heart. Because if your heart is in it, and all you want is good things for yourself, your family, your community, and your nation, then we're all going to line up. And we're all going to come into truth together. And truth is going to build confidence. And confidence is built by knowing that you're not alone. That's why I go around the country to meet you guys, to assemble you guys. The Bank of England is the one that started the Federal Reserve. And them together, they are telling you, this next cycle is going to be big. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. The Economic Ninja is out.